Hello, welcome back to my channel. We are going to do the Lorella box for October. As you're watching this, we're probably going to be like the first week into November. This did come technically, today is the 29th. It came late. I think we're on holiday shipping because this shipped a while ago. It took forever to get here, but yeah, we're going to open this up. This box is around $35 and I think it's at least seven items. It's all Lorella brand products. I will try and remember and link them down below. Uh, they launch new palettes every month and so you're guaranteed to get the palette first and then if there's anything that you see in the box that you like, everything is available individually on their website and their stuff is very affordable. I think that's all I have so I'm going to cut this open. I do need to film my like ipsy and boxy charm videos that stuff technically came you know ice cream beauty box before we went on vacation i had the ice cream box the boxy charm and the ipsy glam bag and then i think the ice cream bag showed up after we came back so some like i said we're in holiday shipping stuff's taking longer to get here so okay this is a gigantic box. I'm gonna try and put it to where it's not in the frame too bad because that annoys me when I'm watching other people's videos a little bit. Okay, try and do it like that. Like I said, this is a huge box. So here is the card. We get the Boo palette. It is very neutral. I did wanna, let me grab, there's a palette that we got from them at some point that I think might compare to it. So I'm gonna grab it. The palette that we got before is On the Edge Volume 2. So we'll see what the color story, how this color story compares. How many shades is this? It doesn't tell me, let me see if I can do basic math. Let's see, five, 10, so this is a 20 pan. The Ghost Palette 2, 5, it's like 15 shade palette. So a little bit smaller, but the color story in the back reminded me of this palette. So we'll compare. And the only reason I'm doing that is because we're getting ready. As soon as I'm done with these unboxing, I'll be able to start filming the rest of my declutter, which is gonna be all the eyeshadows. I did go through and do a declutter not that long ago, but I wanna re-go through all of my drawers again because it's too crowded. So like if these two palettes, if they're similar, I don't need both of them. So may start moving some things along. Okay, so the first thing I see is a Ghost Puff sponge. That's very cute. Let's see, normally I don't take things out of the packaging. So it is kind of, it does have a, like a plastic, so you could, like a powder puff, but this is like a little bit spongy, like silicone -y. It would still be good for powder, but it's not like fluffy. Like I said, it is a silicone material, and this is like faux leather, but it's really cute. So I will keep that and use that at some point when I need to get out some new puffs. So I guess if we're far enough or save it for next year, bring it out pre spooky season next year. Cause we're far enough in it's Halloween. I am filming this on Tuesday. Halloween is on Thursday. Got a couple of bubble face masks. There's a pink rose and a turmeric. I have a couple of these already in my fridge. Haven't tried them. I've, if you're new, I have an allergic reaction sometimes to sheet masks. I haven't tried theirs yet. Like I said, I have a couple in my fridge. I forget about them. So these will go in a drawer until I decide if I'm gonna keep them or give them away. I keep moving this around. I don't know what this is. Ultra gloss as if. open. So it is just kind of a white shimmery gloss. That's not bad. Okay, there is a facial brush, exfoliating and cleansing. We got one last month 
this is what it looks like and it's an exfoliator that's kind of silicone-y and it's it's meant to exfoliate and then there's like a sponge inside oh this is a is this battery operated or is this just manual so this is one and then it's got the exfoliation side that's not bad I have one that's like battery operated and it spins, but this one just seems like a manual one, which again, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, I got some stuff that needs to go upstairs still. Oh, there's a pair of eyelashes in Ibiza. These don't look bad. The band looks pretty thick. So if you're not used to wearing these, probably not a beginner pair, but like me, I would trim off like a good chunk and then just turn these into like three quarter lash. And then if you do trim them, you wanna trim from the outside cause they're tapered on the inside. So you always, I made the mistake the very first time years ago. So you wanna, if you're gonna trim some, you wanna come from back here. But I will give those a try. I don't think I've tried lashes from them. These are activated liners. So it looks like we got smoked and white out. We got an orange or at least I got orange and yellow when they did their like disco 60s box. I think there was a couple of different color options people could have gotten because I think there was a pink floating around too, but I ended up with the orange and the yellow. So yeah, it's just a black like water activated liner. I have a big palette with color, so I have to see if I have black and white, I'll put these The yellow that I got from them was different enough. So I think I held on to at least the yellow, but like this one cracked and came apart a little bit, but that isn't gonna affect the product at all. You treat this like watercolor. So you'll put some water on a brush and then you can go in. The less wet the brush is, the more opaque the color is gonna be kind of a thing. So like I said, I'm gonna see if I have white and black already if I do then I'll put these in for a giveaway. If not, I will keep them. There is a Spotlight LED Selfie Ring Light. I think I have all of their stuff that we've gotten in a drawer. I don't think we've gotten this exact thing, but I do like have one from Jeffree Star where it's a star and it just clamps onto your phone around the camera and it's a ring light for your phone so your pictures turn out better, so not bad. This is gonna go down here in that drawer with all like the light up compacts and stuff. And then I did find my other Melt Nightmare Before Christmas blush. So I am gonna be doing a giveaway. So make sure you guys are subscribed. That'll go up at some point before Christmas. So here is the palette and this is the Boo palette. Like I said, I'm not, I don't dislike the color store. I definitely like the palette they did last year. It was red themed and was shaped like a tombstone. So the color story was a little more exciting. But I wanna compare to the edge cause if it's really close, I won't keep both of them. But. So here is the palette, and then it's got the cardboard. Woo! This the clear plastic scared me. This, uh, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, excuse me. It's a 16 pan palette. So it's a little bit smaller as far as number of shades. But again, this one, and this one has six shimmers. I think this one only has five because the whole bottom row are shimmers. It, this is different. Like this one is cooler toned. This one has more warm browns in it. So they are different, but they're both neutral palettes. So that's something to consider. I like that this one has the white and the white shimmer. This one doesn't go like this is the lightest shade. So Something, again, I'm going to be going through my palette drawers, so something to consider. So I will probably 
be decluttering one of these palettes because I don't think I need them both. But again, when we get to the drawer with all the Lorella palettes, I'll take a look because having this box come every month, there's a lot of palettes coming in. And they're, the quality on their stuff is good. It's not my end all be all formula, but I like it. Like I bought two palettes from them off of TikTok. I got their like pumpkin spice themed one and their witch one. It's like a purpley green. So, I mean, I bought individual palettes from them. So don't mind them, but these are to where I don't know that I need both of them. So again, I will save that decision for a later date. And then the last thing in here, is a brush kit. I've gotten brushes from them before. This is the Artistry Ensemble. So it looks like it's got face and eyes. I don't love all of these. So this may be something again, like I'm inclined to take out the eyeshadow brush or the spoolie, but I don't like this little brush right here. Like I like that for highlighter a little like fan-ish brush, but I don't need it. So I'm, because I am gonna do a giveaway for Christmas, I may just keep this whole thing intact just so I can throw that in because I think that would be nice. Because I'm sure there is somebody that would like all of these. I have like one, two, three, four containers of eyeshadow brushes. Like this is Cheeks. These are all face brushes. Like I said, I have five containers that I'm looking at. So I don't, I'm not hurting for brushes. So somebody else might be able to get, may appreciate this more. So I'll save this for my giveaway that I will do sometime in November. So stay tuned. So let's recap a little bit. We got the facial brush. And again, I may just throw this in because I have exfoliators. So this I'm gonna put in with my giveaway stuff, the face, the face brushes, the full face of brushes will go in the giveaway. This I'm gonna take upstairs. The lip gloss, I will probably, I have a whole drawer of lip gloss. I only wear lip gloss for videos generally. Has a nice smell, smells like maybe vanilla or chocolate, so. I think I'll put that in the giveaway too. And again, I'm not hating on their products, but again, I am thinking probably just put both of these in with my giveaway stuff. So what am I keeping? For right now, I'm gonna keep the palette. I'm gonna keep the little ghosty puff. I'll keep the lashes. And then I will figure out if I have these colors or not. So half of the box is going in giveaway, which doesn't really bother me. But for the most part, I've kept all of the stuff. So yeah, thank you guys so, so much. Again, I will try and remember and link them down below. If I forget, shoot me a comment and I will include the link. Cause like I said, everything that you see can be purchased individually if you don't want to sign up for the box. So yeah, thank you guys so, so much. Have a wonderful rest of your day and hopefully I'll see you in another video. Bye everybody.